guys, today I'm gonna talk about Gustav and Mika's favorite five treats. I give them a lot of treats. Um, I definitely give them a lot of variety. I give them a lot of different brands, different flavors, and all of that. So let's start talking about the five top treats that we're liking right now. The first one that I want to talk about is um, Good Dog. If you want to check it out, this is um, Good Dog, and it comes in like four different flavors. Um, let's see. This one is chicken pot pie flavor. I also have, we just ran out of these. This is the peanut butter and jelly flavor. I also have the blueberry cobbler flavor right here. Um, and we don't have, they don't have any preference for a flavor over the others, but I just like to rotate them. Um, and I like these because they're really easy. Well, so one, they're really small and they're really easy to break into smaller pieces. So that's how small it is. Um, I still break it into at least like, let's say four different pieces. Just because, you know, I give them a lot of treats and this is kind of a general purpose treat. What that means is, so let's say I'm just like cooking or you know, they're doing something. I'll just ask them for a sit or a shake or a spin or something like that. 60% of the time I will not give them a treat because otherwise dogs become dependent on treat, right? Like once they know a behavior, they will kind of do it only if you have a treat in your hand. So, but sometimes I do reinforce it with a treat. And when I do, this is the perfect treat for that because it's like easy, it doesn't make my hands dirty. Nika, come here, Gustav, come here, sit, spin. Oh, good boy, good girl, down. Good boy, good girl. So, second one that I'm gonna talk about, I um, bought brand new packets of the treat yesterday because I was running out. It's this one. It's called Zibby Peak. Oh, Gustav, I know, I know, I know. This one is called Zibby Peak. And this is jerky treats, and I know there have been a lot of recalls on jerky treats, but I've, I feel good about this brand so far. Um, I haven't heard anything bad about this, and so far we haven't had any stomach upsets or anything of that sort with Zibby Peaks. So this is a very high value treat because it has a lot of meat, and I use it when I take them out for like a training class, or let's say to do agility with Gustav, or you know when I was doing puppy classes with Mika, and I might start doing rally with her soon, so this is what I would take. What I really like about this is that it's very dry, so it doesn't crumble in your fingers. Um, so, let me show you what it looks like. So it kind of looks like this. So if you have a small dog, sorry, if you have a big dog, you can probably get away with just giving the dog that whole treat. But because these guys are small and I don't want them eating a whole bunch of treats, I break it into smaller pieces. And again, they're dogs, so if I break this into four pieces, they will think it's four treats versus giving this one. And they, you know, it's just, they don't know it's the same thing. Um, what I like is that it doesn't make your hands oily. I mean, you know, I can feel it. Gustav, leave it. Oh boy. I can feel it a little bit, but it's not, you know, it's not like other jerky treats. And it's really easy to break, so I can easily break it into two parts. And it's just convenient to take two classes with me. And why I take this versus the good dog is I like, get the good dog so often, this wouldn't be high value enough for them for a training class where I really want them to pay attention and ignore the other dogs, ignore the other people. So this is what works in that case. The third one that I really like is these things uh, that I just discovered, who's them now, pretty recently. basically like dried fish skins and it's kind of twisted so it's kind of like a chew tree they stink they're really bad and I'm not even a fish eater myself so I do not like the smell at all but it's a sacrifice I make for these guys because they really like this I used to give this as a chew but I'm not gonna do that anymore because Mika almost choked on one of these things because she's not she inhales food she does not chew and you know, I gave her this whole thing and she pretty much like bit off like this big of a piece and it kind of like got stuck there and I had to pull it out. What I do is um, I break it into like much smaller pieces, like kind of like a treat and give it to them then. What I use this for, cause it's like pretty high value and it's disgusting. I do not want to handle this all the time. This is kind of like their post grooming treat. So these guys get groomed for a long time. Gustav has long hair. Mika doesn't have long hair, but still, you know, with the, with the Maltese, there's always like the top knot and all of that takes about 15 minutes at least so this is kind of you know they're so good they let me do it so this is what they get at the end of that and they only get this after grooming so it's kind of like they have to sit through the grooming but they have something else to look forward to at the end of all of that so that's the um, fish skin this next one that I want to talk about is 
Stella and Chewy uh, Carnivore Crunch. This is the duck recipe. This is, they get this very rarely because they really like it. But I, I practice their emergency recall maybe say once a week or twice a week. And it's very random. And I do it when they're doing something that they love to do. So for example, they would be chewing on bully sticks, loving that. And I would practice the emergency recall then to make sure that they can leave something like that and come to me when I call them. And I'll talk a little bit more about emergency recalls maybe later. But, uh, so this is the treat that they get at that point. Gustav is like going crazy. He's like, why are you holding this right now? I want this treat. Gustav, can you raise the roof? Can you turn? Can you raise the roof? Good boy. I don't think Mika knows this one yet, but we'll try. Mika, can you raise the roof? Oh, good God, come here. Can you raise the roof? Good boy. Raise the roof. Good God. Mika's raising the roof too. Who knew? Um, so yeah, that's the treat that I give to them. It's not the cleanest. When I break it into smaller pieces, it does crumble. It does get on my hands. I can smell it on my hands right now. So, but you know, I give it to them very rarely. The last one that I want to talk about is buried somewhere in here. The last one that I want to talk about is uh, fruit ripples. I'm sure you've heard of this one. This is a pretty popular treat. What I like about fruit ripples, and we love all the flavors. What I like about this is it just smells so good. I think. I think it's the best smelling dog treat out there. It just doesn't smell like a dog treat. It's kind of hard to, what I don't like about it is that it's kind of hard to break into pieces. Like I can do it, but it's just like more harder. Plus it's smaller, plus the shape, because it's kind of round. So I, I don't have any like specific purpose for this treat, but I always have this on hand just because it smells really good. So why not, right? And these guys like them. Oh, I could not break that one into smaller pieces. Let's try another one. All right. So, I mean, they'll do tricks for that. They like it. Come here. Can you sit? Watch me. Alright. Good boy, good girl. Um, so that's the last one that I wanted to talk about. This one. I do want to talk a little bit about some precautions that you should take when you're giving your dog treat. I mean, obviously, you know, make sure that they're not allergic to something if you're trying something new. If I try a new treat, I try and only introduce one new thing and wash their poop for a day or two to make sure they're okay. I do give them lesser food. Well, with the good dog and all of those treats, I do not worry about the food too much because I don't give them a whole lot if you think about it. But if I'm giving them, if I'm giving them the 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 Zivi Peak uh, jerky, I do worry about what they're gonna eat because it might be too much. So I might replace one of their meals with that. It's not a balanced meal, so it's not something you should do very often. But you know that happens maybe like once in two weeks or something. So I don't worry too much about that. I think that's totally fine. Uh, yeah, so those are all of the treats that I wanted to share with but you. So far, these guys, I'm pretty lucky. They're, they're not very picky. They like most treats. Their stomachs are okay with most most of these treats. So yeah, that's it. That's Gustav and Mika's favorite, favorite treats. And Mika just wanted to come in my lap. So there's Mika saying bye. Bye.